okay for uh, the people that doesn't uh, this is more or less uh, this is the thing that I'm, I'm using in my, in my thesis is robotic application and urban mobility the plots in Villahermosa, Tabasco in district number 5 I selected just a little bit of the main city uh, to do our research about how to apply the technology into the development and better use about the mobility and the situation of plots inside of the city. Uh, to understand a little bit more, <laughs> this is the size of Mexico. A lot of people think that Mexico is a little bit uh, country and that's the size of Mexico, it's really big. So it's divided in different places. My investigation is in the top, is in this area, it's called the city, uh, the city is Tabasco, the city is Villahermosa. It's one of the most uh, lowest city that we have in Mexico. The, the um, altitude in the main city is more or less 10 meters over the sea, so it's a really low city and also it's in a swamp area. So we had a lot of uh, floods by the years, I don't know, maybe in the last 100 years we have 25 floods and in the, my investigation is going to cover the last 30 years and in that, uh, in that period we have five and two of them was uh, uh, seen as one of the worst events in Mexico. Uh, below the earthquake in the 85, so it was a, a big situation. Uh, this is Mexico, uh, I don't know, it doesn't see it very nice, but that's the area of, of Villamosa, that's Villamosa, and this is the municipal center, and I'm going, only going to take a little space. Why this space? Because this area was uh, well planned in the 80s. Uh, in the 80s with the growing of the oil industry in Mexico, uh, Villahermosa was selected uh, as, a main, as a main city because they, uh, they were in a center part of the biggest uh, oil reserves found in Mexico. So they uh, invest a lot, of, a lot of money in that area, but the situation about the floods was something they, they don't see it in that moment. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have 30, 32 states. It's a, we have a 122 million of people in Mexico. And Tabasco, well, as you can see, uh, before the investment, we have one million of persons. After that, we have two million and point two. Uh, this is, means that the city grows 100% in only 30 years. The population in Villahermosa, only in the city, it's 353,000 uh, persons. And it's really interesting that in the mobility, the, the quantity of cars moving in the city by the day is the same that the quantity of persons. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, this is the area, this is the center of Villahermosa, and I'm taking this area over here. It's, it's really interesting and I picked that area, as I say, because the, it was planned. It was a really good planned area but they don't think in the expansion of the city in that moment. And also, it's really interesting because this is a federal uh, road that crosses the city. Uh, when something, some flood happens, the city closes. Uh, this area, uh, it's closer. Only the flood in 99 and 2007 covered 60% of the state and 60% of the city. It's a really a big number of cover of the flow. And this is the area. As you can see, that's the roads that have the, the, the city. The idea of this, of the area was to have a green 
the draining, it, we have a green and beautiful area, and that's the, the rose planted in the 80s. That doesn't move. Right now, it's the same. It doesn't grow. The only thing that happens is that in those, in this area, uh, around the river, because all the cities is crossing some rivers in, in on it, and some lagoons, this area was uh, taken by the people that doesn't have money, and uh, were taken for them, and the political uh, solution to, to the necessities of the people is giving them infrastructure. But those areas are, uh, they are in risk. They have problems to be located in that area. So my investigation goes to see about the problems in mobility in that area, also because it becomes a center uh, point of the economical situation of the, of the space. Only in this area, there is, there is a, that's the area of Pemex, the major company of oil in Mexico. It goes to the water every time, uh, and it grows from 2,000 people working in that area. Right now, we have a number that are near to 7,000, and it's going to grow to 10,000. And all the major companies that work for, com for oil companies like Slumberger and Lanark and that's all, they are moving to that area. So schools and everything, uh, it's making a big problem about the mobility. So imagine the situation when something like a flood happened in the, in the, in the space. Um, well, what about that? Okay, I'm going to study the mobility and the floods but also what can you use to apply the technology to mitigate the effects or the problems that you have with the same, obviously, and, and, and templates. Uh, right now, there is in the world some movements or some, uh, some works that is, they are working really fine in the case, one of the cases is Rio de Janeiro, Rio de Janeiro, uh, establish a system to try to reduce the effects of the floods, but that uh, technological uh, improvement uh, migrate to the mobility. So the the use of the robotic is trying to use the data and the technology to create a smart solution, application, weather, etc. All the kinds of of uh, application that can help the city to to reduce the risk and try to improve it and try to make better the comfort and the way that the people is. That's uh, most of, of what I'm saying. That's most of my investigation. That's it's uh, the idea, the original idea. Of the song. If you can see, it's really beautiful. It's really green a lot of uh, water lagoons, and this is the situation right now. They are taking uh, some uh, natural uh, regulation vessels, and they are um, filling it to create new house infrastructure, and they are losing everything. Those areas, for example, over here, those are right now, they are colonies that uh, used to be uh, some spaces taken by the people. And right now they make, and they install an infrastructure to try to respond to their necessities, but that's uh, a problem when something happened like a flu, okay? And that's all my investigation, okay? Thank you very much.